I just cancelled my Adobe subscription, so let's talk about it. In this video, I'm going to run you through the three main issues that I have with the company. I'm going to show you how to actually cancel your subscription without having to pay any of those predatory lock-in fees. And then finally, I'm going to show you some great alternative software to use. Starting with issue number one, which is their most recent controversy, and this is where they updated their terms of services on everyone using the product. A couple of months ago, everyone got a pop-up like this, and you had to accept the new updated terms and conditions. There was no way to dismiss the pop-up, and if you wanted to continue doing any of your work, you simply had to accept. Now, within these terms and conditions was the ability to license your content. You granted us a non-exclusive worldwide royalty free license to use or reproduce any work that you create. That's insane by itself but when you look at section 4.1 where they define what content is, they define content as anything that you put in to their software. If you're editing something on Photoshop or you're simply importing video into Premiere Pro, Adobe now has a complete license of all of your footage. Basically anything at all that you use within their software, they now have a complete license to. And their response was telling. Instead of owning up to it, they doubled down and said, no, it's our users that were wrong. They put out patronizing responses and videos saying that the users just didn't understand. And then eventually when they had enough public backlash, they updated and removed that from their terms of service. Now it appears they've walked it back and that clause isn't in their updated terms of service anymore, but too little too late and I do not trust Adobe to not introduce it again in the future when there is less attention surrounding this. Anyone who is creating content absolutely must care about their intellectual property rights and it is unreasonable for Adobe to claim exclusive rights over anything that you create. Adobe should have no rights whatsoever just because you use their software to create that. The fact they put it in the first place, gaslit the community and now have finally backpedaled kind of confirmed what I already knew and that is they are a scummy anti-consumer company. And while making a video calling them out is okay, I think the most impactful thing I can do is to vote with my wallet, which is why I cancelled their service. Which brings me on to issue number two that I have with the company, and that is their predatory pricing practices. I first started using Adobe when I was a student because I wanted to learn more about creativity and Photoshop and video editing, but like many others, I couldn't afford the absurd monthly asking price. So they introduced a student discount. 70% off, get access to everything, and it's a Bit more affordable. But hidden away in the fine print is after that first year you jump up to almost full price and what's worse is it's a locked in contract for an entire year. So initially as a student you start paying that $21 a month but after a year it jumps up to almost full price. You get that first bill you're like, holy shit, I can't afford this. So you go to cancel and then you're greeted with this message. An early cancellation fee. The way their yearly subscriptions work is it will automatically renew after one year and lock you in for another 12 months. This is extremely anti-consumer behavior and it's not something you typically see, especially within my home country, Australia. When you have a mobile plan, an internet plan, any kind of subscription, typically you are locked in for a fixed period if you sign a 12 or 24 month contract. But then after that, standard practice is to be a rolling month by month no locking contract. I'm not sure if this is a standard American practice, but this is not something you often see within my home country. And so I was essentially trapped in for another year paying excessively monthly subscription fees on a product I wasn't getting great value for money for. This is deliberate, it's by design, and it affects many people all across the world. It's the exact reason why they are currently going through the US legal system being sued for this exact practice. What I dislike the most about this is there is no transparency through their online platform. It's very unclear of what date your contract starts so you don't even know when to cancel it by and you can't say hey don't auto renew. You have to literally set a reminder on your phone for the contract end date and then hit cancel. Now if this is you and you're stuck in a situation where you want to cancel but you're going to be hit with those early termination fees, here's a way you can get around it. You can't cancel without paying those fees, but what you can do is you can change your plan. I changed my plan from all of their applications to just a single Premiere Pro app. What this does is updates your plan from that locked fixed in contract to a brand new contract. But the beauty of that is you are now covered by their early cancellation policy. Basically with any new products, they offer a certain trial period. So what you can do is switch to a single app 
and then cancel. You've now gone in from your lock-in contract of all the applications to just a single app and then canceled within that free trial period. The end result is you get out of that dodgy lock-in contract and you no longer have to give Adobe your money. You're no longer held to ransom and that's exactly what I did. The third and final issue I have with the company is it's just not great value for money anymore. When I first started using their products over 10 years ago, you didn't have much choice. They were the go-to editing tools. If you wanted to do anything cool, you basically had to use their products. But that's not the case anymore. There are now alternatives. Some are free and some are paid, but they offer a better experience. And so here are some alternatives that I'm personally using. For creative content, instead of using Photoshop to generate thumbnails and titles and assets, I'm using Canva. It's extremely intuitive, easy to use, the subscription fee is reasonable, and I can do easy editing, removing backgrounds and a bunch of extra features. For video editing, I've now switched over from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. In fact, this video you're watching right now is the very first video I have edited on that software. I've also got a CapCut subscription for video editing, I like CapCut because it's hands down the best mobile editing software out there. You can also use the desktop version, but their inbuilt transitions, effects, and auto captions are next level, like industry standard, the best, and they absolutely top what Adobe was offering. There are literally better products out there at a cheaper price point. So that's why I canceled my Adobe subscription. I just did not appreciate the way they treated their customers, the community, the gaslighting, trying to claim rights to everything you create within the software, the predatory locked in contracts that they do and they don't make it clear enough as evidence of them being sued. And finally, it's just not great value for money with better alternatives out there. Now, obviously, if you're going to do this professionally, work in a studio, you may have no choice but to use their products. But for someone like me, a creative who loves making videos, I'm not locked in and I can use whatever I want. So for me, Canva, DaVinci Resolve, and CapCut are great alternatives. We'll see how this transition goes. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, join our community where I create tech content every week, and I will catch you in the next video.